What's up guys, Phil here with my first ever commentary. Hope you guys like it, we're doing a zone control. Like I said, it's my first one, so bear with me, I'm still getting the hang of it. I require assistance. <clears throat> a little bit about myself, I am 20. I work part time, I go to school full time, I'm studying biology. Um, live in California, that's all I'm gonna say. So, reason I started doing these commentaries um, I figured everyone, you know, uploads videos, but they just put like music in the background or the sounds. And I figured um, not many people <laughs> do commentaries. So it's like, I feel like more people would watch if I did commentaries. Plus you learn a lot more if someone's commentating. I know I've learned a lot from Dexter Morgan. He's definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. A lot of respect for that guy. He kills it. He's super good. So I just, this guy gives me a lot of troubles throughout the game. He loves his noob tube and his mines. But I've got nothing against it. I I used to do noob tubes too. I used to love rocket launchers. But I grew out of it. I realized that, you know, Doomhammer is a lot better. Warmonger and Doomhammer are definitely my two favorite weapons. They're fully upgraded. So right here I check for um yeah, I check for mines. That's a really good place for mines. People always put them there. And this guy's camping and he doesn't know where the firing's coming from. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. I don't want to go down there because it's it's a death trap. Never want to go on the low ground. Right here I should have switched to Warmonger, but I didn't have time, so I paid for that. You definitely want to get good with your, with your switches. You wanna know when Right here, the guy just comes through and I just I take him down pretty easily. But yeah, you want to know how to switch well. You want to know what the best distance is to switch for your weapon. These two guys, they walk into the grenades. That was pretty funny. Usually I'm the one walking into grenades. And I see this mine. I figured it might go away because if someone dies, the mine goes away. But it doesn't end up going away, so I just figure, you know what, it's not worth my time, so I leave. Go around. I play on a MacBook Pro. I don't have a mouse. I play on a I play on the trackpad. Which sounds weird. And it sounds hard, but it definitely takes some getting used to, but once you have it down, it's pretty much like a mouse. It's sensitive. It's like super sensitive. Right here is a total BS moment. I check for a mine, and it's, for some reason I die. I don't know if it was a mine that killed me, if it, or if it was a rocket. But I should not have died there. But yeah, I use a, I used the trackpad on my laptop. It took some getting used to. The only thing I can't really do is snipe. It's like really awkward sniping with your finger. So I don't really do that too often. Right here I get lucky with a nade. And I try to go for this guy, the new two guy, but he runs away. <laughs> and I go around I realize it's like I said, I hate going down there. I'm super reluctant because it's just it's a death trap. Right here, I start pre-firing. It's always good to just pre-fire. You might get lucky and hit him. So just always use your map and pre-fire because you know why not? Commence assault. They start taking back C, and I'm like, no, this can't happen. And I'm super like, <laughs> I take my time to see if there's a mine there, because I don't want that to happen again. I get a hit mark on this guy twice, so I figure he might die. You know, it's a free kill right there. And I think he gets away, so that was pretty dumb. Right here, I get another kill stolen. It's no big deal though. I 
Let me go ahead and take this guy down. Take out the shotgun for this one. Didn't melee him. I hate meleeing. And that guy just walks into my shotgun. Poor guy. But yeah, I'm not I'm not big on meleeing. I hate it. I hate when people do it to me. And I prefer not to, but sometimes you just have to. So I get out of there and should have switched to Warmonger for this guy. Thank god he was AFK. And that guy just walks into it. Sorry. So for these walls, you definitely want to watch out because every time I see someone taking D, I throw a grenade over it and you know 80% of the time it kills them. So you just want to watch out, make sure that there's no one down there throwing a grenade. And you'll see that someone does throw a grenade and I can dodge it. And I wait for this guy to come around and I get noob tubed. No hard feelings though, like I said before. I used to use it, but shotgun's better. Commence assault. Being super cautious right here. <laughs> And take him out with the grenades. Right here, I have no idea how I survived. This guy just, I guess, you know, you're so used to using rockets that you just suck at aiming now. So, somehow he doesn't kill me. Just another reason to switch to shotgun instead of rockets because it'll, it'll ruin your aim. Right here, I drop down and kill this guy. Right here I have no idea how that happened. I think I shot, I think what happened was he shot a rocket at me and I shot the rocket in midair so it didn't end up killing me and then at the same time that one hit killed him. So that was really weird. Right here I just had to melee him, I didn't want to die. So yeah that rocket kill was super weird. Right here another melee, um, I don't know, sorry. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just constantly being wary about mines. I don't want to die from another one. It's probably it's pretty much the worst way to die, just by a mine. You walk into your own death. It's horrible. So I see this guy's trying to kill me and I wait for him, but I didn't realize he's on the other side of that corridor. Give me a hand and here. he Let's go. goes ahead, he kills me, whatever. At least it wasn't a rocket this time. So at this point, we're doing pretty badly. They have the majority of the flags and the score sucks. So I didn't think we'd win. And I make a huge mistake here, I stand still, which you never want to do. You always want to be moving around, zigzagging. Because if you stand still, you're just a sitting duck and you're going to get ruined. So I learned my lesson and you can see uh, when I spawn, I start zigzagging like this. It's a lot better. And right here I see the blue dot, and I steal his kill, sorry. Doubtful. Take these guys out with the nade, and then I waste the nade, because I, I figured the guy might have not died yet. Right here, I wait for the guy, because I, I thought he might throw a grenade, which he didn't. But he ends up getting away, on super low health. I should have switched to Warmogger, I would probably would have gotten him, but I didn't. So, you know, I'm learning as well. That guy gets taken care of. We're taking back C. I dropped down, didn't mail him, because that's dumb. So dumb. We're taking back C. Finally. I get out of there because that's a bad spot. And I see this guy is camping. Don't camp, it's stupid. Doesn't work.
And as you can see with the scores, we're not doing too well. They have twice as many points as us, and they've got three flags. I see this grenade come out of nowhere. And this, this is my teammate throwing a grenade at me. It's kind of scary. Me. Without assault. And here comes this guy with the rocket launcher again. Didn't really give me a chance. I see this guy try to throw a grenade. It doesn't make it. That was embarrassing, so I throw another one. And take this guy out. I run up to this guy. And someone else takes the kill. But that's okay. Commence assault. As you can see as you can see they're taking back C. But one of our teammates stops it. So that's good. Right here you can see I pre-fired. Like I said, it gives you a huge advantage, and why not, you know? So I lowered this guy's health, so he goes to hide and heal up. I take him out, and this guy. Just another reason why you should use rocket, um, uh, shotgun instead of rocket launcher, because it's just so much better. You don't have to reload for like three seconds or whatever. That guy melees me and rockets me, that's pretty low. That's pretty low. And this guy, I thought he might have died. I should have just gone after him. But that was a mistake. I should have just went after him, took him, took care of him. As you can see, he's taking D, and I let my teammate go for him. I just hoped he'd take care of him. And he ended up he ends up taking him. So that's good. And it looks like things are things are turning around. We've got almost all the flags. Throw a grenade, take care of that guy. It doesn't take him. Throw that one, doesn't kill anyone. These mines are poorly placed. I don't know what they were thinking. And right here I just get I get slaughtered. I should have moved out of the way. I melee this guy. He's moving around too much. Sorry. Without fail. Threw out a grenade hoping he'd kill someone, but that was that was a waste. And then right there, hit a mine, died. As you can see, I'm speed glitched here. Um, usually I'll kill myself, but we're so close to losing and winning at the same time. I figured I'd just go for it. Um, I didn't even do too, too well anyway. I died after this. And speed glitching isn't really that great. I feel like people target you even more when you're speed glitched. So it just ends up biting you in the butt. They should really fix that glitch. It's pretty old. I don't know why they haven't taken care of it. And right here, that's my last kill. It's pretty much our game. So that's that's about it. I uh, really hope you guys like it. Go ahead and subscribe if you feel like it. You know, I'll be posting more of these kind of videos. Um, so take care, guys.